Glad to be here this morning. Amen. Another day God has blessed us to see. Amen. That's why I'm going to give God some praise because he didn't have to wake me up this morning. He didn't have to start me on my way. He didn't have to put food on my table. He didn't have to put clothes on my back. But God has been so good to us. Amen. How dare we sit down on God? Amen. 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 So we ask you to join in with us this morning and give God a praise. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's go in together and have a good time today. place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, 
and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. And with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Amen. The word of God for his people. Good morning, church. Let us pray. All wise and merciful God, we thank you for the opportunity just to call on your name. We have called on you in days gone by and you answered us. You heard our cry, oh God. We say thank you for it. But right now we're saying thank you for this day. Yes, it's raining on our side, but you still is in control. You're the one that made the heaven and the earth. Yes. And we say thank you. Thank you. You're the one that gave us food when we was hungry. You're the one that cared for us when we didn't even care for ourselves. And we say thank you. Thank you. We thank you, oh Heavenly Father, for salvation through your son, Jesus Christ, who came down through those 42 generations and died on that cross for our sins. He went to that grave in our stead and rose up on that third day with all power in his hand. And we thank you, Jesus. And you even ascended back to the Father after about 40 days. There you make an intercession for us in prayer. So we said, Jesus, please hear our prayer. If anything that we shouldn't say, we ask and pray that you blot it out of our mind and out of our thought process. If anything we should say, we ask and pray that you give it to the Father on our behalf. Strengthen us where we are weak. Build us up where we are torn down. But we need your guidance in everything we say and do, oh God. Let us order our step in your word. And as your man servant come today to deliver that word to us, let our eyes and our ears and our heart be attentive to what does say the Lord. And let us not be just a hearer of the word, but a doer as well. We ask and pray that you bless everyone under the sound of my voice, oh God. And the one that don't even hear my voice, let it go even further, oh God, that people know that they have a soul to save. And the only way they can save it is by accepting the Lord Jesus as their Lord and Savior. We thank you that our family was still intact today. And we pray that you continue to keep us in your care. We ask a blessing upon the first family, as well as the past extended family, and the one that thought it not Robert to come out to the house of God to worship you in spirit and in truth, to give you the, the honor and the glory and the praise that due to your holy name. And we thank you for everything. As we go through this service, may it be done that we could praise you forever and forevermore. And we ask that you hear our prayers, O oh Lord.
appreciation for your commitment to Mid Well One Day Session, Monday, January 8th through the 9th, 2024, at the Bethlehem Baptist Church, 4 Harrison Bridge Road, Centerville, South Carolina. Dr. Philip Bowen is the pastor. There will be a lecture series on Monday at 1 p.m. and a Monday night service at 6.30 p.m. I pray that God will continue to bless you exceedingly abundantly. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call me at 803 Prospect will be going to the soup kitchen December the 12th, 2023. And don't forget to bring your hoodies in for our hoodie drive and coat drive. Amen. Amen. Continue prayers for all of those that are on our healing list. Happy birthday to all of our December babies and happy anniversary. And Lordy, Lordy, somebody's almost 40. So um, we'll, <laughs> we'll celebrate all week long with them. Amen. Amen. I'd like to say welcome to each and every one of you. Happy birthday anniversary to those that are celebrating. Amen. I know Craig's birthday is Saturday. Uh, Craig, you, you, you old enough to come to the senior thing? <laughs> nah. Happy birthday anniversary to all those that are celebrating. Amen. Uh, I used to then look forward to turning 40. And I used to say 40 was old, but the closer I get to it, it ain't old. <laughs> and it'll be here in a matter of days, God's will. Uh, please keep those on the hidden list in your prayer. Uh, continue uh, praying for Miss Gracie uh, Jeffries. Uh, I haven't spoken with her since uh, Wednesday, but she was still in the hospital. And, and Trustee Keith uh, told me she had another procedure did Wednesday. And uh, I do know that she had to eat solid foods in order to be able to go home. And she was eating solid foods when I, when I went to visit her. A little bit she could eat. So uh, she may be at home. Uh, but y'all continue praying for her, that God continues healing her body. Amen? Yes. Also, uh, continue praying for, for Miss Maggie Hunter. And also, we're glad to have Deacon Nathaniel Hunter back with us. Amen? Yes. Hey man, you ask him how you doing, Deacon Tate, feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, glad to have yeah. Deacon Nate back with us. Hey man. Continue uh, keeping all bereaved families uh, in your prayer. Uh, continue praying for the Macbeth family. Trustee Pete Macbeth was funeralized. Homegoing service was held here yesterday. Uh, we'd like to thank everyone for the part that they played. Thank uh, the choir. Thank our trustees for stepping up. Hey man, being the urshers. Amen. And special thanks to our kitchen committee. Amen. 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 God bless all of you. <laughs> Amen. I, I always say uh, we should try to help and be with those in bereaved because one day it's going to be our family. Amen. And we're going to need somebody to help us. Amen. Amen. So thank each and every one of you for stepping up and doing whatever you did to help that family on yesterday and all week long. Uh, again, uh, earlier, uh, our Senior Christmas Fellowship will be held this Saturday at 5 o'clock. We thank Miss Mary Hunter for doing that uh, for our seniors. Uh, hopefully, I don't catch a flat tire this year and I'll be able to make it. Uh, but we will have our Senior Christmas Fellowship this Saturday at 5 o'clock. Also, uh, on next Tuesday the 12th, we are going to the Woodruff Soup Kitchen beginning at 5.30. Sirs and ma'ams that are willing and wanting to help, please send Miss the lowest gifts uh, before you leave today. Uh, also, uh, Ms. Ursula announced it. Uh, can you bring those coats and hoodies and blankets in for those that are less fortunate so we can distribute them to be a blessing to somebody? And also, as I look around the sanctuary uh, behind me and uh, uh, on the window seals, uh, the church has been decorated for Christmas. Amen. We'd like to thank Ms. Shirley Gillum. Amen. Uh, uh, I know she did it all by herself. <laughs> but it is beautiful. Amen. Thank you, Miss Shirley, for making it beautiful for our Christmas season. God bless each and every one of you. We pray you all have a, have a wonderful, wonderful week. 
uh, as you are out shopping, doing whatever you are doing during this Christmas season. Amen. Amen. Uh, be aware of your surroundings because there are yeah. some bad people out there. Yes, sir. And they will definitely try to take advantage of, of a seasoned woman. Uh, they will try to take advantage. Uh, so you got to watch some of them crooks that's out there. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. There are all some wolves in sheep clothing. So y'all be careful. Be aware of your surroundings and have a good time. Amen. Amen. Get a quiet hand clap as they come.
knowing that you have the victory. Amen? Yes. Amen. As you turn your Bibles to the book of Hebrews, turn your Bibles to the book of Hebrews, amen, right after Philemon, right before James. I heard somebody say a long time ago, the easiest way to remember those three books is say Philemon, Hebrews, James. That's what I heard, Pluto. The book of Hebrews. Gonna read verse, I mean chapter 9, verses 19 through 28. The book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verses 19 through 28. Amen. We bring you greetings this morning. Where our father sits high and looks low. And he still has all power in his hand. To our ministers, our deacons, our trustees, our choir, our ushers, our members, and our friends. It's always a great day to be in the house of praise. Amen. Was in the house yesterday, amen, for a home going service, but thank God today. Amen. We don't have a casket laying here. Amen. But I'm going to say this for it to be a home going service, amen. It was a service. Amen. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord was in the house. Amen. And with the, 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 the people that were here, it lets you know. Amen. The impact that Mr. Pete Macbeth had. Amen. Hebrews chapter 9, verses 19 through 28. If you have it, say amen. 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 Ready? Amen. Let's read. For when Moses had spoken every percept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and of goats with water and scarlet wood and hyssop. And sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the testament which God hath enjoined unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without the shedding of blood is no remission. It was therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with these. But the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Nor yet he should offer himself often, as the high priest entered into the holy place every year with blood of others. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now once in the end of the world hath he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And as he has been appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Amen. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. We want to talk from a topic briefly this morning. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. In my time of living, I've seen many people who just don't like the sight of blood. I saw a small percentage of people even pass out just by seeing it. Yet it's pumping throughout all of our bodies. Our hearts are pumping blood up and down our bodies to give our bodies the oxygen and the nutrients that we need to survive. But my brothers and sisters, not all blood is the same. Amen. There are eight most common types of blood. It's A and positive and A negative. Amen. B positive, B negative. O positive, O negative. And AB positive and negative. Am I right about it? Amen. But then you have the blood of the precious lamb. You have the blood that is unique. You have the blood that is one of a kind. Amen. The hymn we used to sing, What Can Wash Away My Sins? 
nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Can I get a witness? And Jesus came to bring repentance. As a result of it, he offers forgiveness and remission of sin. Amen. The blood of Jesus is what saves us. It doesn't matter what church we belong to. doesn't matter what denomination we are a part of. It's the blood of Jesus that brings forgiveness and not church membership. Amen. Can I get a witness? Shedding the blood is the result of of the penalty of sin for the wages of sin is death. When Adam and Eve sinned, God killed an innocent animal to clothe them. There in the presence of God, they saw an innocent victim give up his life for sin. When the blood was gone, the animal was dead. His blood was shed in payment for their sins. My brothers and sisters, that's what Jesus did for us. Jesus was innocent. We were the ones that were guilty. Can I get a witness? Yes. Amen. amen. Just like in that garden with that animal. Amen. The animal was innocent, but Adam and Eve were guilty. But God killed the animal. Amen. amen. So that he could clothe them. Amen. And the animal shed his blood. And all I'm trying to tell you this morning is the precious lamb shed his blood for sinners like me and you. Amen. Can I get a witness in here? Oh, yes. Amen. Jesus. Uh, gave his blood, amen, for us. And that's why the first covenant wasn't put into effect without blood. When Moses had proclaimed every commandment of the law to the people, he took the blood of cows together with the water, scarlet wood and branches of hyssop, sprinkled the scroll and all of the people. Amen. If we remember when Jesus was in the upper room, he took the cup and he said, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. He took the bread which represented his body which was given for us. Amen. He took the cup which represented the new covenant in his blood and remembering him. Amen. That brings us to our first point this morning. Our first point is we are redeemed by the blood. Amen. To redeem means to buy back. In the Christian version of redemption, we were sold on the market of sin into slavery. Satan was our master. Jesus redeemed us by buying us back with his blood to pay for our sins. But my brothers and sisters, Jesus didn't buy you back for you to return back to Satan. Let me say that one more time for the people at home, Trustee Key. Jesus didn't buy you back, amen. He didn't buy you. He didn't pay the price for you only for you to leave him. But he paid the price for you for you to stay there with him. Can I get a witness in here? I don't know about you this morning, uh, but I realized in my life, Deacon Wright, that a lot of the grief that has been caused in my life, I have made a, played a part in it, but Satan has helped me along the way. Uh, I can't get no help in here. Breeze, I guess I'm the only one that used to roll with the devil sometime. I guess I'm the only one that used to let Satan get the best of him sometime. But if we can be real in here this morning, amen, we all have fallen victim to Satan and his tactics at one time or another. Am I right about it? But we have to remember, amen, that we are bought with a price. Money can't buy. Amen. The only thing that could buy our freedom from, from sin, the only thing that could buy our freedom from eternal damnation was Jesus' precious blood. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. Amen. Not only are we redeemed by the blood, but the blood protects us. If we remember back in Exodus chapter 12, amen, God had told them to cover all of the doorposts amen. with the blood of the lamb. Can I get a witness? Amen. And they covered the doorposts, amen. And when they covered it, amen, they were protected and, and the deaf angel went by their house. Amen. And all I'm trying to tell you this morning is that many times you don't realize that your doorpost is covered by the Lord. Amen. And a lot of things that's supposed to come your way don't come your way because God is protecting you. I wish I had a witness in here. A lot of things, amen, that should happen to you don't happen to you because God has covered you with his blood. 
Can I get a witness in here? Oh yes, I know you got that nine at home in the drawer. I know you got that rifle hanging up in your in your cabinet. Amen. But nothing can protect you like the blood of Jesus. Oh yes, it protects you from the seen and the unseen dangers. That's why I get excited, amen, when the choir sings the song on the first Sunday talking about the blood of the Lord. I get excited, amen, when I see the white tablecloth covering his, uh, 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 the fulfillment of what he told us to do with the Lord's Supper, amen, because it reminds me of the blood of the Lord. Amen. He told us when we do it, we do it in remembrance of him anyway. Amen. Can I get a witness in here? Yes, the blood protects us, but the most important thing, I believe, the blood forgives us of our sins. Yes. Thank you, the blood of Jesus is a total all encompassing forgiveness. The blood forgives us for our many sins. And I realize, Miss Bessie, no, I don't sin as much as I used to sin. Because unlike some of you in here, I used to wake up thinking about what sin I'm going to do today. They did too, Miss Ball. I used to think about it Pluto at 8 o'clock in the morning. Amen. And it wasn't going down to 10 o'clock that night. Amen. But you think about it and prep all day long. Jesus. How I'm going to sin today. I'm just talking about me, Miss Sharon. Amen. How I'm going to sin today. Jesus. What can I do today to get in a little trouble? Amen. What can I do today, amen, to, to appease my fleshly desire? I wish I had a witness in here. Yes. But then I realized, amen. That as good as God is, and as precious as his blood is, and the way I'm forgiven for my sins, amen, no, I don't sin like I used to, amen, but every now and then I do fall short of God's glory. But when you realize, amen, the sacrifice that God made for you, it makes you try to do right. When you realize, amen, the sacrifice that Jesus made for you, it makes you say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. When you realize, amen, that he didn't have to do it, but he did, amen, it makes you want to live a life that's pleasing in his sight. Can I get a witness in here? Oh, yes, amen, the blood forgives us for our sins. That's why, my brothers and sisters, I realize that there's nothing like the blood of Jesus. Words can't describe just how much the blood means to people like you and me. Amen. Words can't describe what it means to be covered by his precious blood. Amen. Words can't describe how the blood can heal us. How the blood justifies us. How the blood sanctifies us. How the blood grants us mercy. Amen. Can I get a witness in here this morning? And all I stop by to tell you today is that there's nothing like the blood of the Lord. Amen. How precious is the blood of the Lamb. Jesus thought it not robbery uh -huh. to come here through 42 generations yeah. to live a life that was pleasing in God's eyes. But when his time had come, Jesus in his fleshly form started having doubts. He started feeling some type of way like you and I. And he asked God, amen, to take this cup from him. But Father, your will must be done. Because Jesus knew that the only way we could get to glory is that if he hung on that cross and shed it, his blood. Can I get a witness this morning? Amen. And I don't know about y'all, and I know Thanksgiving is over, but I'm so thankful today Amen. that he shed his blood on Calvary's hill. Amen. I want to tell God thank you Amen. for sending his son to die for somebody like me. Amen. I want to tell God thank you Amen. for allowing his son to shed that blood. For without the shedding of blood, there will be no remission of sin. But because he shed his blood, I know I can face tomorrow. 
because he shed his blood. I know no matter what's going on in my life, it can't take overtake the blood of the Lord because there's power in the blood of the Lamb. Can I get a witness in here? Is there anybody in here this morning that knows there's power in the blood of the Lamb? How about you say yeah? Ain't the Lord all right? When you realize how much power is in the blood of the Lamb, you'll realize you cannot come to church Sunday after Sunday and sit down on the Lord. When you realize how much power there is in the blood of the Lamb, you'll walk through the door with some pep in your step, ready to give God some praise. When you realize how much power there is in the blood of the Lamb, you'll walk through the door with your hands in there like you just don't care, saying, God, I thank you for one more day. God, I thank you for all of your mercy. God, I thank you for all of your grace because I realize there's nothing like the blood like the blood of Jesus. Can I get a witness in here? The blood makes me whole. When I feel like I'm broken, I got to remember because he shed his blood on Calvary's hill, he'll make me whole again. Is there anybody in here this morning that's been felt like they were broken before? Anybody in here today felt like they've been down before? But they know it was nothing but the blood of the Lord. Can I get a witness in here? See, my soul begins to get happy when I think about the blood. My soul begins to get happy when I think about him going on that old rugged cross. My soul begins to get happy when he bowed his head and died. My soul begins to get happy when they took him down and put him in a boy tomb. My soul begins to get happy when I think about Friday night. My soul gets happy when I think about Sandy. But most importantly, on Sunday morning, I got to shout hallelujah because he got up with all power in his head. Can I get a witness? All I come to tell you is there's no matter what's going on in your life, you're covered by the blood. Can I get a witness? No matter how bad your body may hurt, you are healed by the blood. No matter how you feel like you are bound in sin, you are free by the blood. Can I get a witness? The blood is precious. The blood is powerful. And it will never, I heard somebody say never, I heard somebody say never, lose his power. Say it. Say it. What is God doing? If you know there's power in the blood of the Lord, you put your hands together. Tell God, thank you. Go aside. Tell God, thank you. Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. Only thing that can make you white as snow. Nothing but the blood. Though your sins be red as crimson. He can make you white as snow. Amen. Nothing but the blood. Give God a hand clap of praise. Maybe somebody who has accepted Jesus as their Savior. But you have to do it today. Tomorrow isn't promised.
everyone. If not, those are in prayer. excellent is thy name in all of the earth. God, we come right now with our heads bowed in the locks of our shoulder. The humblest way that we know how. Thanking you, God, for being God and being God all by yourself. God, next we want to ask you to forgive us for our sins and our shortcomings. Because, God, we realize you paid the ultimate price with your son, Jesus. God, you love the world so much that you gave your only begotten Son. And whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Father God, we thank you, God, because he was born. But Lord, we thank you because he died. Because he died, God, we realize that there's healing in the blood. God, there's salvation in the blood. God, there's deliverance in the blood. There's protection in the blood. There's providing in the blood. Whatever we need, God, is in the blood of the Lord. And the thing about it, God, is just as powerful today as it was over 2,000 years ago. The blood will never lose its power. We thank you for that, Master. God, we come praying for those under the sound of my weak voice today. God, you know what they have need of before they even ask. God, I, I pray you give your people the desires of their heart. God, I pray we continue being that church, God, that's doing things pleasing in your sight. God, we don't do it for form, show, or fashion, God. Lord, we don't have the lights flickering, God. We don't have the stage, but God, we have pure hearts. And you told us in your word, only the pure in heart shall see God. And God, that's our ultimate goal, God. We trying to see you one day, face to face. That will be a magnificent day. But God, until that day comes, God, while we're down here, God, we're going to give you praise for all that you've done for us. God, we're going to give you praise because we found you to be worthy of it all. God, Lord, be with those in need of a healing today. God, we come lifting up Miss Gracie Jeffrey. God, Lord, she's on her bed of affliction, but she know who you are. And God, we know you know who she is. God, she needs a touch from you, God. We thank you for what you have done for her this fall. And God, we pray you continue healing her body as you see fit. Not only her, God, continue healing those on our healing list. God, continue healing Miss Maggie Hunter. God, continue healing Miss Nellie Elmo. God, continue being with Miss Mamie, Miss Ruth. God, and anybody else, God, who may be on the healing list. God, Evangelist Watson, God, heal them as only you can, Master. God, continue being with all bereaved families. God, we continue lifting up the Macbeth family today. God, Miss Barbara, God, their children, grandchildren, brothers and sisters. God, be with them. Because, God, we know, God, that pretty soon everybody's going to go their various ways. But you'll always be there with them, Master. So, God, Lord, I pray that they realize and remember they can call on the name of the Lord. He'll come see about you. And he's definitely worthy to be praised. God, Lord, we just thank you for being God and being God all by yourself. God, we thank you for the shedding of that blood, Lord. We can't thank you enough because there's nothing like the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Master. God, be with us, guide us, protect us as you will have us to go. And we'll be so careful to always give your name honor, glory, and praise. In Jesus' magnificent name we pray, all God's children said, amen. 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 
Amen. We will now prepare ourselves for our Lord's Supper. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was portrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat. This is my body which is broken for you. This do ye in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Amen. Amen. This time we'll have our prayer by Deacon Nathaniel Hunter. Amen. Father, 